everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video I'm going to show you how to organize your locker if it's a big mess and you have to clean it out for end of school or it's just gotten to the point where things are falling out of the locker right when you open the door or you just can't find things and your grades are suffering because you just can't find anything and your locker is a big mess. So let me show you exactly how to clean out your locker so you can do the same steps and get yourself organized. So this is the locker I have right here and inside you can see it is just a big mess. Like you can't find anything things are just shoved inside and grabbing something from the bottom is just really difficult to do. So the first thing you want to do is grab a sheet of paper because we are going to write down the things that you need to do as you are cleaning out the space. And so I've created a locker clean out checklist for you. Uh, there's a link below where you can download it and you can print it and you can use this as you're cleaning out your locker. So I have mine right here and I have a marker and as I come across things that require me to take action, I'm just gonna write them down. Um, so in addition to the list, I also have three bags that I just got from home, just grocery store bags. And what I'm gonna do is we are going to sort things into each bag as we come across trash, uh, recycling, and things that belong, like things you want to take home or things that belong to other people. So I'm just going to hang them right here and then I'm going to take three sticky notes. And so I've just grabbed three different color sticky notes just so we can create like quick labels just like this. And you actually, you don't have to label them. Like if you, want, if you just remember this is trash, this is recycling, this is to bring home, that's perfectly fine also. But just to make this, um, you know, just so you can better see, I'm just creating one for home. I'm just gonna put that right there. Then I'm gonna create one for trash. I'm just writing with the Sharpie and then one for recycling, just like that. And then we are going to just staple it to each bag, just so we can know, you know, what is what. And the best time, like, you know, if your school doesn't give you a designated locker clean out day, like we used to have locker clean out day, it, I think it was like once a quarter in our high school and middle school. If you don't have that, you can, um, you know, maybe get to school a little bit earlier and do this or stay after school um, for like, you know, 30 minutes. It really shouldn't take you that long to do this. Or if you have like interact or recess or maybe during your lunch, you could do this. Um, but really just find a time when you have some downtime and you can just sort everything out. Okay, so I've got my three bags right here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start at the bottom and we're just gonna sort everything out into trash, recycling, and stuff to bring home. Okay, so we have all of our bags labeled right here, uh, nice and organized. And now we're just gonna go through and pick one thing out, like one by one, and just sort it out into what's trash, recycling, and what's to bring home. So um, we're just gonna start here. So gym shoes, it's, we're gonna pretend like this is the end of the year and we are gonna bring those home. We no longer need those. All right, a worksheet from last quarter, a test from last quarter, um, trash. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna take out all the paper. I'm gonna lay everything flat. And if you don't have time to kind of go through the papers right now, because you know, you don't have a lot of time, just you know, stack them nicely. And what you can do is just bring them home. And when you get home, go through them one by one and figure out what you need, what you actually need to keep, put in your filing cabinet, um, or what can be discarded because, you know, you're not taking that, that subject anymore or next year it won't be applicable or you just don't need it. So, and then everything else, um, everything that's obvious trash, you know, we're gonna put in the trash. Okay, so my lunchbox can go at home. Okay, so like a sweatshirt you borrowed from a friend, that needs to go back to a friend. So we're gonna go here and on our locker clean out checklist, we're gonna say, uh, give sweatshirts back to friend, just like that. And so that's your first action item. So when you're done cleaning out your locker, you're gonna have a nice list of things that you need to do. All right, more papers. Let's 
So just think about like how good you're gonna feel like once everything is organized and the mess is gone and it's just gonna be like a fresh new start if it's like the middle of the school year or if it's the end of the school year, then um, you know, it's, it's gonna feel good to already have gotten this done. Okay, so like here's that agenda book that you couldn't find in the middle of the school year and because you couldn't find your agenda book, you weren't writing down your homework or your assignments, project uh, due dates or test, um, test dates and stuff. So it just goes to show if you get organized, you know, you can find the things that you have been missing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this home so we can kind of go through that. All right, so here's a book from the library. So this needs to be returned. So on my list, I'm gonna write return library book. Okay, here's more notes. Here is trash. This is like a note from a friend. We can recycle that. Okay, recycle that. Okay, here is gym clothes. This just needs to go home so we can wash these. These are pretty gross. Um, this is just like random stuff. We can bring this home with us. And when you get home, you know, you need to go through this bag and take action and, you know, decide what to do with these things. Okay, here's a book. Now, like, because your locker was so messy, you spilled on your book. Um, so good thing you had it covered so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, old gum that can be trashed. Candy wrapper. A gross tissue. <laughs> Okay, here's like, you know, school photos that you paid money for and now they're at the bottom of your locker. That can go home. This fell down from your locker, so we'll just, you know, for now we'll just put that back up. Okay, and then a pen, so we'll bring that home too. All right, so now the bottom of your locker is cleared out. Like that didn't take up that much time, like a few minutes and we can finally see the bottom. So if you have a, um, if you have a wet wipe, I would suggest just, you know, wiping it down or, you know, doing whatever you need to, to, um, you know, to clean the bottom and have a fresh new start. All right. So now we are going to see what's at the top of the locker, clean that out into our categories and just continue making progress. that we found at the top of the locker. Okay, so now that we've cleared out all the mess, all the papers, all the trash, recycling out of your locker into these three bags, now it's just a matter of taking the trash to the trash can, taking the recycling to recycling, and then when you go home um, after school, you know, just make sure you bring this bag with you I'm just going to tie this so nothing falls out. I'm going to hang this in the locker, or I'm going to put this at the bottom of the locker. So when we go home, we can bring those. And then our action list, what we're going to do is put all the papers that we need to go through. I'm actually going to put them inside of this folder right here. I just have a folder underneath my checklist. So then we can just bring the folder home. And then, you know, maybe not after school today, but maybe this weekend or Sunday, we can go through the stack of papers and figure out what we need to keep and what we can get rid of. And that really depends on, you know, what stuff you need to keep and what stuff like you need for next year and what stuff is safe to get rid of. Okay, so then on my checklist, I'm gonna add, go through these stacks or go through the stack of paper. All right. So now, I'm just gonna take this home and I will deal with that when I get home. But as you can see, that didn't take up a lot of time to organize your locker. It's just a matter of going through all the stuff, pulling it out, deciding, deciding what to do, and now you have a fresh new start. Um, if it's the middle of the year or if it's the end of the year, you can see that this didn't take up a lot of time to um, kind of wrap things up now that the summer is about to begin and you are, you know, leaving your locker. So what's the weirdest thing you found in your locker or what do you think you're gonna find um, that you've been looking for once you clean out your locker? Leave a comment below and let us know what it is. And if this is your first time watching any of my videos, you can subscribe for more tips on getting organized or check out my website allahundra.tv um, and if you want to download the uh, locker clean out checklist the link is below thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye